Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very long awaited video for me <laughs> because I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite products from black owned brands. I have a, quite a bit of products that I like religiously use. I did make it a point to start purchasing from more black owned brands, but I already had some in my collection. I'm waiting for those to come in, but I want to share with you guys my holy grail. So we're going to go ahead and start off with Ace Butte. This palette I received in a BoxyCharm and it was one of my favorite palettes that I received. This palette is really gorgeous. This is the Vintage Dawn palette. This one is really earthy. This is not a color story I would necessarily ever purchase just because of the colors. It's so neutral. But it's neutral with beautiful sultry colors. So it's not necessarily a neutral palette. It just seems like the most neutral for, to me. But I ended up really liking this and the formula is really really great this shade right here this one is dew and it's stunning it's this beautiful icy blue I love that shade as an inner corner highlight oh this gold one of the best golds I have in my collection hands down but recently on boxy add-ons Ace Butte had two palettes on there I did purchase both of them. One of them I'm going to be including in a giveaway, so <laughs> stay tuned for that. But yeah, so this is Ace Butte. Definitely go and check out this brand. The palettes are really, really gorgeous and the formula is pretty good. The uh, next brand I want to talk about is Fenty Beauty. You guys have seen quite a few of Fenty Beauty's products and on my channel already because I love them so much the first product I want to talk to you guys about is the setting powder if you have not tried the setting powder I don't know what you're doing and I don't know what setting powder you're using because this one is the bomb this setting powder is the best setting powder I've ever tried in my entire life I don't know what Fenty did to the setting powder but it is so finely milled and this shade is nutmeg this is what i use to set all over my face and then honey is a shade that i use to highlight i'm not wearing this one today but i am wearing nutmeg all over my face i'm wearing a tinted moisturizer i i'm going for lighter coverage these days because it's the summertime but this is the shade that i like to use just to set all of my face and i love it so 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 much and I do plan on purchasing a bigger one of this because this is currently the tiny one. So. Well, the next product I have from Fenty is the bronzer. I love this bronzer so much. It's the perfect shade for me. This is the darkest shade in the line, but I love this so much. I'm almost getting rid of the like imprint of the fb in this it's so good this is in the shade mocha mommy and i believe this is the darkest one but this does such a beautiful job at contouring for me i also kind of could use it as a bronzer too because i just love the glow that it gives me i really 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 love this she has so many shades in this bronzer line and it's really good i'm wearing it today and it looks good what more can i say so the next brand that I am in love with, in love, I don't even know if those are the words that I can even use, like what's better than in love? I love Juvia's Place. If you guys have not tried Juvia's Place, you're living under a rock. If you don't know who they are, you live living under a rock because they have the most pigmented eyeshadows on the planet, the most full coverage foundation on the planet. This Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation is $20, but it's currently on sale for $10, I think. Hopefully by the time this video is up, it's still $10, but there's always a sale going on, so you could wait till it goes back down to $10. I don't know, but it's the I Am Magic Foundation. This is beautiful. And what I love that Juvia's Place does is normally with lots of cosmetic brands, the darkest shades are the highest number and the lightest shades are the lightest number but what Juvia's does is make the darkest shades the lightest number and the lightest shades the highest number which I love like time to be inclusive for everyone why does the darkest shade have to be the highest number I, I don't get it but I love that Juvia's Place is 
inclusive and switching things up and, and and also caters to everyone there's something for everyone there along with their foundation their shade six are the truth i love these shade sticks from juvius so i have a contour shade which is this one right here this is katsina and i have a of course face shade right here which is been been in so this is what i put all over my face and then i also have a highlight shade which is martania it's basically what i use when i want to be when i'm lazy i i just get my shade sticks and i use all of them i don't want to go into all these other products it's just so convenient and this is what i like to use when i travel because they're really cute and i, I guess they're nice and I'm happy that there's a brand where I have literally all of my complexion products at my disposal where it's not hard for me to find them. I love these and I believe I got these for like at the time of the sale I got these for like six dollars each which amazing. The next product from Juvius is the Royalty 2 highlighter. I also have Royalty 1 but Royalty 2 is my absolute favorite one. This highlighter I'm wearing today if you guys can see and it's so beautiful. I'm gonna open it up for you guys. I don't want to make a mess though but I'm gonna open it. So this is the mm, let's see how are we gonna do this. How are we gonna do this? This is the highlighter. Oh I did what am I doing? Why don't I just swatch it? it is a loose highlighter loose highlighters aren't really my favorite but something about this formula and juvia's is it's the truth so this is royalty 2 it's so blinding and beautiful and it just looks so good on multiple skin tones i love it last product from juvia's is an eyeshadow palette i just placed an order buying literally almost all of their palettes i test out the palettes and get a feel for them i'm gonna do a juvia's place video dedicated strictly to all of their palettes but for now i'm gonna talk about the nomad because i'm wearing it on my eyes today can we just can we just take a second and just talk about this eye look that i got going on the nomad palette is so stunning it's Honey. and the packaging can we just talk about this beautiful packaging Juvia's Place kills it with their packaging for their eyeshadow palettes this palette is stunning so that's what I have on my lens today and I love the formula Juvia's Place is known for their shimmer formula and it is absolutely unreal so that is the middle shade right here swatched and the last black owned brand I want to talk about is mine. <laughs> I want to talk about mine because it also is a black owned brand and it's one of my favorites as with the other ones that I just talked about. I own a cosmetic brand of lip gloss, lip scrub, lip oils and it's called Tatiana Anissa Cosmetics and this is one of my favorite lip gloss shades this is a nude gloss this is called nude ways and i wear this all the time so good it has if there's a peppermint scent in it and a peppermint tingle on your lips it feels so good and it's so hydrating all of my squeeze tube glosses are infused with coconut oil so yes this one is nude ways and then we have glazed which is a clear with gold like little tiny shimmer so it's also for those people that love clear gloss but want just a little bit like a little hint of sparkle on their lips so this is the best gloss i love this gloss as my like go-to clear gloss and then my pucker up lip oil is also my favorite so this is a lip oil it has a roll-on applicator and the applicator is so soothing so this is the lip oil and there's all these beautiful little shimmers can you guys see this it might be hard to see oh no you can see it oh my god it looks so good these beautiful shimmers in it and it's so good since the roll-on applicator is metal it's cold which is really feels good on the lips i like to keep this handy at all times when I, I need to moisturize my lips at night after I shower and wash my face I immediately go to this kind of like rotate out of my products 
But these are my current top three. You guys can shop all of these brands. I'll include the links of all of them down in the description so you can check out some of these products. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was really fun to do. I love talking about anything that raises people of color up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.